hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i am going to show you how to install kali linux purple as a dual boot alongside windows 11 before going to the video let me tell you something kali linux purple is a powerful penetration testing and ethical hacking distribution and having it alongside windows 11 can be extremely useful for various purposes the main difference between kali linux purple and the regular kali linux is the inclusion of new tools and features that focus on collaboration and communication for example the platform includes a new chat application that allows red and blue team members to communicate and share information information in real time so let's drive into the video the first thing you need to do is to go to chrome browser and search for Kali Linux you can also check the description for direct link to download this Kali Linux version scroll down this website so that you can see the installer download link so these are the installer images this is regular Kali Linux we are going to install Kali Linux purple just scroll down again you can see Kali Linux purple there here you can see Kali Linux purple and I am clicking on the download option which will download a Kali Linux purple Leave this for some time because it will take some time to download 3.5 GB of data. After finishing your Kali Linux ISO download, we need to download one more thing which is Balena HR which is used to flash your USB drive. So this is the website. This website will be also given in the description. Here click on download to download the Balena HR. In the mentioned versions our windows is 64-bit. Uh, so we will download the first one. Ok you can see it's downloading. After finishing this download click on the executable file so it will install the application. Okay, here we can see that Balena HR is installed successfully. So double click on this application to run this. Here the first option is to select the ISO file. So here we are going to select the ISO file which is in our downloads. Call it Linux ISO. Click on open. Now it's time to select the target file. The target file should be a USB drive which should be connected at this time. I am going to connect my HP USB drive right now. So this application will dictate the USB drive automatically. Here you can see that the USB drive is detected automatically. Now nothing else we should select the flash option. Click on this flash option which will flash the USB drive. After flashing, if you are receiving this window, then it means your flash is successfully completed. Now it is safe to close this window. Our next step is to partition a disk. For partitioning and allocating a free space, you need to open your disk management. You can see here I have two volumes. That is one is new volume C and one is new volume D. I am going to shrink new volume D. And the size which I am going to shrink is 50 GB. For allocating 50 GB free space, I am going to write 50,000 here, which is in MB, which when converted to GB equals to 50 GB. One more thing to keep in mind, you should not shrink your C drive. If it is necessary and if you have any other drive only, you can shrink C drive. Now it's time to restart. After shrinking, you should restart your system. Go to your boot menu. If your laptop is Acer, then your boot menu will be F12. If your laptop is HP, your boot menu will be F9. In boot menu, select your Kali Linux USB. Here in my laptop, it is showing security boot file. 
it is because i enabled a secure boot option so i am going to turn off this laptop and getting into bios to turn off secure boot for acer the bios key is f2 you should continuously press on this key to enter bios now this is bios we need to go to the security option in the boot option we can see our secure boot is enabled this is the problem we are facing there so we should disable this for disabling this option we should go to the security option and set a supervisor password here click enter and create a new password okay password is set now again go to boot option and disable it now click on disable and hit enter now you can turn off the supervisor password again here click on set to supervisor password again enter your current password and hit enter again and again with a blank password so it will disable the supervisor password after disabling the supervisor password exit from bios configuration i did this by clicking on f10 now you can see that my system is restarting again so at this time i am going into boot menu again and now i am going to select my usb drive which is the second option hitting enter okay boot menu successful so here i am going to install kali linux we are graphic install so first option is graphic install so i am going to click enter on graphic install so this will install kali linux automatically with everything uh, to default settings this process will take a lot of time for me it took 45 minutes to finish this setup here click on english or your preferred language i am using english here you should select your country and keyboard now it is uh, setting everything with default options now it will ask you to connect to a wifi network here i am connecting with my phone and you must connect to a network while installing kali linux type your password here and go to next here they are asking us to configure the network i will type kali as the host name and domain name also i will type kali i will write everything as kali here later i can change this from uh, kali linux settings now i am writing my name also as kali everything i will write as kali and some random password i am writing here configure your clock here i am clicking eastern and click on continue after selecting your clock the next step is an important step so here we should select the first option use the largest continuous free space available so you should click on the first option which is free space available continuous free space available and all files in one partition as the next option you should not do anything wrong in these two options and finally we should click on finish here click on yes on the next option which is asking Yeah, this will format your drive for our case our drive is free space so formatting is not a problem for us
Here also you should click on continue option only. This is the final step to install the Kali Linux. If you click on continue, then you won't be asked anything else. So this process will take at least half an hour depends on your system. For me, it took 30 minutes to finish this installation process. Now our installation process is over and here my laptop is restarting. And on restarting you can see GURB menu system and I am clicking on the first one which is Kali Linux. So here comes our Kali Linux. Here you will be asked to type the username and password. The username I given was Kali and the password you should type your password here and click on login. So here we can see our Kali Linux purple is installed successfully in my laptop. So the next basic step to do after installing the Kali Linux I will show you now. Here open your terminal and type sudo ap update this is a command used to update the package list on your Linux system we are performing a command with super user permission here so we need to write the password here you will not see anything like dots or hashes while typing your password but still you should understand that what you are typing is getting by the system and after typing the password correctly then only hit enter still it will show blank space only where you wrote the password so our system is updated successfully our apt packages are everything will be updated successfully now you can see an updated latest Kali linux purple version the user interface you are seeing right now is xfce 4.1.4 but i will change this to genome later which will be in the next video congrats you have successfully installed kali linux purple as a dual boot alongside windows 11 if you encounter any issues during the installation don't hesitate to seek help from the community or mention below in the comment section if you found this video helpful Please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.